Good morning. Today we'll be doing the liturgy of the hour's morning prayer for Wednesday, August 3rd. Let's have a moment of silence as we begin our prayer. God, come to my assistance. Lord, make haste to help me. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Alleluia. O oh God, all your ways are holy. What God can compare with our God? I cry aloud to God, cry aloud to God, that he may hear me. In the day of my distress, I sought the Lord. My hands were raised at night without ceasing. My soul refused to be consoled. I remembered my God, and I groaned. I pondered, and my spirit fainted. You withheld help sleep from my eyes. I was troubled. I could not speak. I thought of the days of long ago, and remembered the years long past. At night, I mused within my heart. I pondered, and my spirit questioned. Will the Lord reject us forever? Will he show us his favor no more? Has his love vanished forever? Has his promise come to an end? Does God forget his mercy or in anger withhold his compassion? I said, this is what caused my grief, that the way of the Most High has changed. I remember the deeds of the Lord. I remember your wonders of old. I muse on all your works and ponder your mighty deeds. Your ways, O oh God, are holy. What God is as great as our God? You are the God who works wonders. You showed your power among the peoples. Your strong arm redeemed your people, the sons of Jacob and Joseph. The mild waters saw you, O God. The waters saw you and trembled. The deaf were moved with arrows. The clouds poured down rain, and the skies sent forth their voice. Your arrow flashed to and fro. Your thunder rolled around the sky. Your flashes lighted up the world. The earth was moved and trembled when your way led through the sea, your path through the mighty waters, and no one saw your footprints. You guided your people like a flock by the hand of Moses and Aaron. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, 
as, as it was in the, the beginning, beginning, is now, and will, will be forever. Amen. O God, all your ways are holy. What God can compare with our God? My heart lives up, live up with joy to the Lord for the humbles and to exalt us. My heart exalts in the Lord. Lord. My, my heart exalted in my God. I have swallowed up my enemies. I rejoice in my victory. There is no holy one like the Lord. There is no rock like our God. You speak boastfully no longer, nor let arrogance issue from your mouth. For of all knowing God is the Lord, a God who judges deeds. The bows of the mighty are broken, while the tottering gird on strength. The well-fed hire themselves out for bread, while the hungry batten on spoil. The barren wife bears seven sons, while the mother of many languishes. The Lord puts to death and gives life. He casts down to the middle world. He raises up again. The Lord makes poor and makes rich. He humbles, he also exalts. He raises the needy from the dust. From the ash heap, he lifts up the poor to seat them with nobles and make a glorious throne their heritage. For the pillars of the earth are the Lord's, and he has set the world upon them. He will guard the footsteps of his faithful ones, but the wicked shall perish in the darkness. For not by strength does the man prevail. The Lord's hope shall be shattered. The Most High in heaven thunders. The Lord judges the ends of the earth. Now may he give strength to his king and exalt the horn of his anointed. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now and will be forever. Amen. My heart leaps up with joy to the Lord, for he humbles only to exalt us. The Lord is King. Let the earth rejoice. The Lord is King. Let the earth rejoice. Let all the coastlands be glad. Cloud and darkness are his raiment, his, his throne, justice, and right. A fire prepares his path, it burns up his foes on every side. His lightnings light up the world, the earth trembles at the sight. The mountains melt like wax before the Lord of all the earth. The skies proclaim his justice. All people see his glory. Let those who serve idols be ashamed, those who boast of their worthless gods. All you spirits worship him. Zion hears and is glad. The people of Judah rejoice because of your judgments, O Lord. For you indeed are the Lord, most high above all the earth, exalted far above all spirits. The Lord loves those who have hate evil. He guards the souls of his saints. He sets them free from the wicked. Light shines forth for the just and joy for the upright of heart. Rejoice, you just, in the Lord. Give glory to his holy name. 
glory, glory to, to the, the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. The Lord is King. Let the earth rejoice. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Romans. Who will separate us from the love of Christ? Trial or distress or persecutions or hunger or nakedness or danger or the sword? Yet in all these we are more than conquerors because of him who loved us. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Good morning. Our scripture for today has a main idea that Paul is bringing across these verses. That God is for us, not against us. And there is no person or situation that can separate us from his amazing love. It is sometimes difficult for us to understand why God allow us to face hardship since He loves us unconditionally. Yet we do not see or know as God sees and knows. We believe. Believing in the promise of Jesus, all things work for the good. They will work out for good because God is in control. We are being predestined, called, justified, and glorified. All this word underscore the one concept that God has everything in His hand. Even when it doesn't seem like it. Uncertainty, such as strategies, that it doesn't seem anything good can come out of it. But then we proclaim that all things work together for the good, for those who love God, who are called according to His purpose. So as we look into our heart, we look into the heart of Jesus. And as we continue our prayer, we ask God for the wisdom and strength to understand His divine plans to all of us. Acknowledging that God is always in control. God is always in our midst. I will bless the Lord all my life long. I will bless the Lord all my life long. With a song of praise ever on my lips. All my life long. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. I will bless the Lord all my life long. Let us serve the Lord in holiness all the days of our life. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel. He has come to his people and set them free. He has raised up for us a mighty Savior, born of the house of his servant David. Through his holy prophets, he promised of old that he would save us from our enemies, from the hands of all who hate us. He promised to show mercy to our fathers and to remember his holy covenant. This was his oath he swore to our father Abraham to set us free from the hands of our enemies 
free, free to, to worship, worship him without fear, holy and righteous in his sight all the days of our life. You, my child, shall be called the prophet of the Most High, for you will go before the Lord to prepare his way, to give his people knowledge of salvation by the forgiveness of their sins. In the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high shall break upon us to shine on those who dwell in darkness and the shadows of death and to guide our feet into the way of peace. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and will be forever. Amen. Let, Let us serve, serve the Lord in holiness all the, all the days of our life. Blessed be God, our Savior, who promised to remain with His church all days until the end of the world. Let us give Him thanks and call out, Remain, remain with, with us, Lord. Remain with us the whole day, Lord. Let, Let your grace be a sun that never sets. We dedicate this day to you as an offering. Do not let us offer anything that is evil. May your gift of light per pervade this whole day, that we may be the salt of the earth and the light of the world. May the love of your Holy Spirit direct our hearts and our lips. And may, and may we, we always act in accordance with your will. At this time, let's take a moment of silence to lift up our prayers and petitions to our Lord Jesus Christ. Dear Lord Jesus, we lift up to you our prayers and our petitions, together with the prayers and petitions of each and every one who are praying with us this morning. We ask, dear Jesus, that you hear and answer each and every prayer as we say, Remain, Remain with us, us Lord. Lord. Gathering our prayers and praises into one. We now pray the prayer your Son, Jesus, has taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Let us pray. Lord, as a new day dawns, send the radiance of your light to shine in our hearts. Make us true to your teaching. Keep us free from error and sin. We ask this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your life. Thanks, Thanks be you. to God. Thank you for praying with us. We hope you can join us again tomorrow. Same time, same place, same channel. Have a great day.